Welcome back to SnowRunner and Tamir. On the last episode, we got started doing some work in Zimnagorsk. On this episode, we're going to start discovering the rest of the map by doing the geological research contract. We left our geo research truck back in Quarry. We're using the Royal with the Seismic Vibrator add-on, and we moved to Zimnagorsk through the Quarry Gateway. It's in the middle of the map. Let's get started. Once you get to Zimnogorsk in this gateway, the game is going to try to push you down this road, but don't take it because it's a horrible road, it's nasty. So instead, we'll just get turned around right away, pointed back towards the gateway, and there's another road out of here we can take that's much better. The geological research contract has three triangulation points that we need to scan, and by scanning these points, we're going to uncover a lot of the map, and when we come in here to actually scout the map, there won't be as much for us to deal with. Of course, there's always a tree in the way. I try to stay on the left side of the road going through here because the road itself is really muddy and if you stay on the left it's a lot more solid. But we'll get up here to the pavement and we'll hang a left. We've already been over here with the dam on the last episode when we rebuilt the bridge. We're entering the industrial district now and there's a watchtower just to the left so we'll drop the fuel trailer here and we'll run in here and get this right away. Get a nice view of the map. It's actually a really nice looking map. There's a couple of tasks that have been discovered and also an upgrade. So right away we'll swing in here to the right. We'll just go through the trees here and we can get that task activated right away. This is the Lost Instruments task and by activating it, it spawns three consumables around the map that we need to pick up later on. We'll have to use a mini crane to do that. We want to get it activated right away so that the materials are spawned and then when we're out doing work in the map, we can just pick them up as we're in the areas. So we'll take our fuel trailer with us and now we're going to go across the bridge. This is the one we built on the last episode with the dam and we'll take our first left. We're going to go down by the beach and the first triangulation point is just around the corner. So just up ahead there's a left turn and we can leave the trailer out here on the road. I do like to fuel up before I leave the road just in case I get stuck or something. I don't want to run out of fuel while I'm away. So we'll just pull up here right by this tree and scan the first point. Now we can back out of here and head back up to the road. We'll grab our fuel trailer and we'll head further up the map towards the sawmill. On the last episode I was talking about taking a different route to avoid some of that nasty stuff in the middle of the town and this is the route I was referring to. So if we go down this road that follows the shoreline we won't have to go over all of those trees in that mud pit. The Royal is a pretty decent truck. It's got 51 inch tires on it right now. The UOD2s they are pretty good in mud but the mud is so deep out here that they just kind of sink and if your truck bottoms out before your tires reach the bottom of the mud then you'll get stuck. There are a few spots like that on this map so we're just gonna hope for the best that we can get through all of this. This is definitely the worst triangulation point that we need to reach but we're gonna leave the trailer out here. We're gonna definitely get refueled before we head out there because there's some really nasty mud and it's very possible that we might burn through our entire tank trying to get out there and back. Now we'll go down the shore here and stay to the left of these trees. Just stay in the grass as long as possible because once you get into the mud it just sinks. This first water crossing just up ahead there is nothing to winch to in the middle of that stream so it's, a, it's actually a pretty big gamble to get across here. What I like to do is point my truck upstream a little ways so that as the current pushes it, it'll actually help the truck to get more traction by pushing it sideways. But you can see how deep this mud is. It's really bad. And there I finally got close enough to catch that winch as the stream was pushing me down. So we'll get pointed in the right direction and then we'll winch ourselves across to this next little island. That's definitely the worst spot. From here on out we should be able to access winch points the rest of the way. Some people like to do this one last so that when they get to the end of it they don't have to try to drive back to the mainland. They can just recover from there. And I, I totally understand that. It makes a lot of sense. I'm not doing it that way only because we have one more to go to after this and we would have to leave the garage to get there. Instead, doing it this way, we're going to be able to continue around the map and get a little bit more of it discovered. So we can scan right here. I try to get up on solid ground before I start the scan, just in case my truck starts to sink. And I'm definitely going to get turned around up here instead of trying to turn around down in the water. Although I managed to get stuck on something here. Not sure what, but either way. I'll just winch myself out of here. Probably that tree that I'm next to. Now we gotta start the journey back and it's gonna be a lot of winching on the way back too. I just try to grab a winch point from the back of my truck to whatever it'll reach. That way I can still steer while I'm winching until I get to these crossings then I gotta winch from the front. This one's the little bit tricky because there's a tree stump there on the left and a rock on the right and you have to get your truck right between them in order to go through. Just barely fit through there. Coming up ahead this is the one that doesn't have any winch points so I'm going to point my truck upstream again try to get to the right as far as I can because the current is going to push me which is good it helps because it keeps my truck moving but I want to be as far out as possible 
possible before it pushes me down. Otherwise, it'll push me away before I can reach a tree to winch to. Just barely moving, so I'm gonna winch my truck sideways a little bit. There we go. The current is pushing me sideways. I've got my wheels turned to the right as far as I can. I still can't quite reach that tree. There, I got it. Okay, good. All right, so we're good now. <laughs> I was starting to sweat there a little bit. I thought that was going to be the end of our trip with me floating down the river upside down. You can see there's a tractor over here that had the same problem, only they didn't make it. So we'll just winch our way out of here the same way we came in and we'll get back up to the mainland Then we should be safe from that point on. Doing the geo research contract before we scout the map, in my opinion, is a good idea because it allows us to get two out of the three watchtowers and some of the upgrades before we even take a scout out. So it'll reduce our time scouting and we're going to have to do this anyways, so we might as well do it first rather than later. We'll grab our little trailer here and just winch it behind us. We're going to run through the sawmill. We've already been here and just up ahead there's a road that goes out the back of the sawmill. Once we get on this road we'll just hang a left here into the trees and there's an upgrade down by the water. Only thing you really got to worry about here is tipping over. If you hit any of these boulders and rocks kind of sideways they can pretty easily flip you over. Just take your time through here you'll be all right. And here is the raised suspension for the step 310 so we want to get that right away because we're going to be rescuing that truck on this map and now we have the rear suspension upgrade before we even got the truck so should be set to go once we get it now let's just back out of here i'm not even going to try to turn around now we could go back down to the road and follow that around but the road is pretty nasty so we'll grab our trailer and then we're just going to cut through the trees here to the left I'm just trying to find a good spot to go through with this add-on so it doesn't get hung up that'll work okay so we cut through the trees it's pretty wide open here and we'll just go straight ahead we're heading straight towards the next watchtower instead of following the muddy road we're just going to take the back hillside there really isn't any mud out here so it's a lot safer the road is just to the right there we could take the road right now but like i said it's still pretty muddy we'll just keep going and then up ahead there the road has an intersection so right before we get to this big sign that's on the left we're going to cut across hit a tree and it's a little bit deep here let's get a better angle at this just kind of instantly stops once i get into it we'll take the grass instead and just go between the trees and now we can just drive right up the hill and the watchtower is right up here so we'll grab this one get a nice view of this side of the map it's raining so hard you can't see anything anyways another upgrade location discovered that's the one where we're heading to next so the third and final triangulation point is at the oil field which is really not far from where we're at so we'll backtrack down and get our trailer and then we'll take the grass instead of the road and we'll keep going down this hill. There are some big boulders on the hill so watch out for them and then we'll cut right between the trees here and just to the left there is one of the consumables that we'll need to pick up later from the lost instruments task. We can keep on heading through the trees and now we've reached the road but there's some logs here so we're fairly safe and then I'll cut back into the grass again. Try not to roll on that boulder and then I'll cut up onto this log road and the oil field is just straight up ahead. The Royal has done pretty good for us out of these three maps that had seismic vibration tasks. We'll cut left here and that upgrade is just up ahead here. This is the raised suspension for the Tega. So now that we have that we can finally get our 51 inch tires on that truck. Now I'm just going to turn around and drive back out of here the same way I came in and then we'll go right across the road and the triangulation point is just up ahead here. You can see this patch of rocky ground that's exactly where we need to stop. So we'll get this one taken care of and that's the end of the geological research contract. We've got about half the map uncovered and picked up a couple upgrades. On the next episode we're going to bust out the scout. We're going to take the Tuz 166 throughout the map and find the rest of the upgrades and watchtowers. Make sure you come back and check that out. It's going to be a good one. Thanks for watching.